Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem B4 from 1989 Putnam. Does there exist an uncountable set of subsets of the positive integers such that any two distinct subsets have finite intersection? So a couple of things about this. The first thing is uh, you may want to pause the video, think about this, and then come back and watch the rest of the video so that you know how it is being solved. This is not an easy problem, so you might want to spend some time thinking about it. The second thing is a couple of uh, facts about um, countable, uncountable that I have in other videos in this channel. The first thing is if x is infinite, then, and this is a set, the power set um, is uncountable. So power set is the set of all the subsets of x. The second thing is uh, if x is countable, then the set of all finite subsets of x is in fact countable. And I have videos on both of these two. Um, the second one can be proved by uh, showing that if you take the set of all subsets of x, where the size of a is at most n, this is countable, you can prove that by induction um, based on the fact that you can, if you want to uh, create a set of size n plus 1, you need a set of, set of size n, and then you take the union of that with an element uh, of the set. Okay, but neither of these two are going to be actually very helpful for solving this problem, but I thought this would be relevant to discuss here. So the first thing is I'm going to try to create a set satisfying this, and it took me a while to figure out how to do that. But here is the idea that I came up with. If I take a subset of all positive integers, let's just say A is the set of all uh, primes. Let's say 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. I can code this, and this is something that you know a lot of the um, computer scientists do that. I can code the set by just a, a bunch of zeros and ones. So zero indicates that one is not in the set. One indicates that two is in the set. One indicates that three is in the set. Zero indicates that four is not in the set. One again indicates that five is in the set. 0 for 6 not in the set, 1 for 7 is in the set, 8 and 9 and 10 are not in the set, we have 11 in the set, 12 is not, 13 is in the set, and so on. If I have two sets, let's say another set is the set of all even numbers, 2, 4, 6, etc. Then this set is going to have a different code, it would be 0, 1, 0, 1. And as you see, there's obviously going to be Two different, uh, two different codes. And what I did notice is that at some point there's going to be a difference here. In fact, the, the first difference is at the position, third position. Now, after that, the sequence, if you look at, I guess, like the partial sequence, the subsequences up to some point will always be different because I have a different number at that particular point. So that should give you the idea of how to solve the problem. Because I wanted to create numbers that are positive integers, I wanted to start from 1. Always I wanted to start from 1. So here is now how we're going to deal with that. So let x be the set of all subsets of z plus that contain 1. So clearly x would be a, an uncountable set. So x is uncountable. Now for every one of these sets in x, I'm going to create another subset of z plus. How do I do that? To every set a in x with a equals so the first element is always 1, then the next element is maybe x2, x3, and so on, with 1 less than x1, less than x2, less than etc. 
we assign a 0, 1 sequence. So the first one and then the next one would be maybe A2, A3, etc. Where AJ is equal to 0 if J is not in A and 1 if J is in A. So what happens if we do that? Then I can create a subset of Z. Z plus. So now consider this subset. Consider the subset 1 and then 1A2 and then 1A2A3. This is a two-digit number. This is a three-digit number, etc. Now if I take two different subsets, if A and B are in X and a is not equal to B, then let me call this one maybe F of A. Then F of A intersection with F of B is finite. Why? Because at some point they're going to have a different element. They're going to differ at some point and after that point all of the rest of the elements are going to be distinct. So that, that intersection is finite. But what happens is all of these sets are uncountable. Since x is uncountable, the set f of a, where a is in x, is also uncountable. We found an uncountable limit subset of Z plus when the intersection of each two of them is finite. And that completes the solution. Now let me give you another solution which I found online. Uh, this is not my own solution, but I found this uh, interesting, so I thought it would be good to uh, share that with you. If you look at uh, the, but the idea is kind of a similar idea. If you look at the real numbers and take a real number, you can find a sequence of rationals that converges to this x. So find a sequence of rationals that converges to x. Now, instead of taking subsets of uh, natural numbers, take subsets of rationals, but of course there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between q and z plus, and you can deal with that later. So now, if you take two sequences, if you take a n that converges to x and b n that converges to y and x is not the same as y, then these two sequences only intersect at finitely many points. Because if they did intersect at infinitely many points, then the limits would have to be the same. Which means x and y would be the same. This is if the set a n intersection with the set b n were infinite and of course n goes to infinity so if this were infinite then the limits would be the same which means x and y would be the same which is a contradiction so that means you can kind of also uh, state the solution this way now either one of these two would be would work the first one would be a more familiar uh, type of solution for computer scientists. The second one would be something that you would see would be more comfortable for somebody who is doing real analysis and they're more comfortable with like a continuous way of thinking. These are two different solutions to the same problem. So if you like this video, check out the rest of the videos on my channel and I will see you in the next video.